The Honeysuckle by Dante Rossetti. I plucked a honeysuckle where the hedge on high is quick with thorn, and climbing for the prize was torn and fouled my feet in quag water, and by the thorns and by the wind the blossom that I took was thinned, and yet I found it sweet and fair. Thence to a richer growth I came, where, nursed in mellow intercourse, the honeysuckle sprang by scores, not harried like my single stem, all virgin, lamps of scent and dew. So from my hand that first I threw, yet plucked not any more of them. I quite like this because it's describing um, the first time that this person plucks the honeysuckle and actually the location where um, they pluck the honeysuckle it was a bit trapped it was surrounded by thorns it was difficult um, it was a struggle um, and they even muddied their feet in the quag water so they got dirty and then after they plucked it, it went through all that effort to dig through the thorns and get the honeysuckle they actually ended up um, losing a lot of the blossom and the beauty of the honeysuckle that single flower because um the the thorns and the wind actually thinned it and they um took away some of its beauty but at the same time despite that experience um this the person found it sweet and fair then as this person continued on their walk they found a more um bountiful and fruitful area and um where kind of like nestled in a beautiful place there were loads of honeysuckles and they and um they weren't kind of affected and in a negative difficult place like the first honeysuckle flower that this person plucked um and I like the um the metaphor of using describing these scores of honeysuckles as virgin lamps of scent and dew just implying like they're untouched they're beautiful exquisite um maybe even ripe in a way virgin lamps of scent and dew so just describing that smell describing the luscious dew that might have been just dripping off um their petals and um the flowers however this person then throws the first flower, the first honeysuckle, away, but decides to leave this luxurious bounty of honeysuckles untouched. It's almost as though, um, you know, let's leave the virgin alone, refer, you know, and and kind of let it continue to to look to be in that glorious time of a beauty and um, purity, the purity of the flower. Um, so Dante Gabriel Rossetti has done a lovely job there. Um, I read it three times and um, just now actually I just felt an urge and I kind of felt more and more connected to it as I read it and of course it would be lovely to read it even more so I hope you enjoy this. I hope this enlightens you somewhat as a perspective but at the same time I feel this poem is quite straightforward um, and I do like the figurative language that is used in there. Thank you very much. Poetry is passion. Okay, bye.